mirror mirror on the wall do we have an extra life drop uh, we have E&D here, extra life drop, the annual special fundraising charity secret lair where 50% of each drop sold will go towards extra life and their support of the Seattle Children's Hospital Autism Center, a center that offers lifelong support for children with autism spectrum disorder or ASD and their families. What is extra life? Formed in 2008, Extra Life is an annual fundraising event where people from all sorts of gaming spaces, including Magic the Gathering, come together to support Children's Miracle Network hospitals. Since its inception, they managed to raise over 100 million US dollars. Quite impressive. And all these donations went towards helping and healing children. But is it worth it to buy Extra Life 2022? As per my usual circuit layer, is it worth it videos to determine the worthness of this particular drop, I will break down the content, evaluate it on the secondary market, rate it in terms of worthness and give you my personal advice, which I'm sure you find it very useful. Price, two versions, non-foil 39.99, 44.99, traditional foil 49.99, 54.99, being a special drop don't pretend a cheaper price. Content value, approximately $86. The most expensive card in this particular charity drop is without any doubt Sliver Legion. The Time Spider Mastered version is valued at around $24. Then we have Birds of Paradise, the iconic mana ramp flying creature. The M12 version is valued at around $12. But Secret Lair version of Birds of Paradise from Mark Pool is valued at around $17. Last but not least, Lutless Dragon Queen. The M19 version is valued at around $7. But don't forget that this drop will have two copies of each card, meaning that you have to double the value. One copy with the artwork of a young artist and one copy with the artwork of a master. And here we are talking about well-established artists in the magic community. Tyler Jacobson, Andrea Radek, and Steve Prescott. Verdict. Worth it? 100%. In terms of cost versus value, and don't forget that in the collectible world, value is everything. In terms of cost versus value, paying $50 and getting back $86 is extremely worth it, even though 50% of the value is derived from Sliver Legion. Apart from that, something else that in my opinion adds value is the artwork by both the young artists and especially the professionals. This type of art on these particular cards, there is no way that will feature in future reprints. Also, being a player that loves to play green, I really like the artwork of Birds of Paradise by Andrea Radek. A last note, I am aware that there are, let's call them influencers out there that argue about Wizard of the Coast using such initiatives to save on corporate taxes and to build a better social responsible image. Yes, I do at a certain degree agree. Companies like Wizard of the Coast, Hasbro, etc, etc, they will not do a such initiative if there is no gain. But at the end of the story, buying this drop, apart from having six nice cars that you can play, collect or invest into, you are helping families to cope with a very difficult situation. My advice, yes, do buy this drop. Leave me a comment below, what do you think about this drop? Yes, I do agree that nowadays there are too many products and too many secret layer drops, but this one is for a good cause. And don't forget, here's the subscription button, subscribe to my channel for more and more interesting videos about Magic the Gathering and the collectible world.